just a disclaimer before we start. I don't mean to generalize everyone in the fandom. Matter of fact I'm part of some of these fandoms. I'm only referring to some toxic stands. So if you're not one of them don't take it personal. Now let's start. Some insomnias seem to think Dreamcatcher is better than most girl groups since Dreamcatcher's concept and sound is very unique and unseen in the K-pop industry. Some stands uplift Dreamcatcher's originality by bringing other female groups down and saying that every other GG is unoriginal. I do agree that Dreamcatcher are a breath of fresh air, both in terms of sound and concept, but it doesn't make them better because everything comes down to your preferences and preferring something less common doesn't make you special. Luna's fandom suffers from the same I'm not like the other girls mentality as Insomnia's. Certain orbits treat Luna like an exclusive group, a cult that only certain people can join. Some toxic stands also belittle other girl groups when it comes to choreographies, when in reality there are a lot of girl groups with interesting, intricate and challenging dances. Luna are my alts and I could talk about how amazing and original they are for hours but without bringing down any other group. Because yes, Luna might be different and unique in certain aspects, but they are literally normal girls just like the ones who are part of the groups you're bashing on. Being different and original doesn't mean everyone else is boring. Mamamoo is arguably the best singing girl group right now and while this is something that should be recognized and praised, it shouldn't be used to slander other GGs for their vocals. There are groups with incredible vocals in the third gen like G-Friend, WJSN, Guguden, Red Velvet and many more and there are such good vocalists in the fourth gen as well. In groups like Eyes One, Weekly, Stacy, Luna and I could go on. Fans also praise Mamamoo for going against toxic beauty standards, but do you realize that some girls are born naturally skinny, with a lighter skin tone and with visuals that perfectly fit Korea's beauty standards? They were born like this and there's nothing they can do about it, so it makes zero sense bashing them just to praise someone else for looking different. Certain toxic blinks will literally belittle every other girl group's accomplishment. Thinking Blackpink is the blueprint for everything. For example, some stands think Blackpink have invented the girl crush concept and nobody else is able to pull it off or is even allowed to have said concept. Groups like 4 Minute and 21 have been around long before Jisoo, Jenny, Rose and Lisa even started training. Just saying. I also find this girl crush concept supremacy extremely toxic because not everything has to be reduced to being either cute or girl crush. There's so many concepts like magical, quirky, dark, teen crush, retro, horror, sad, futuristic and many more. In conclusion Blackpink aren't superior because they act badass and they are not the only girl group who has good dancers, good vocalists, good rappers and good music. Let's end this video talking about another one of my ults. Eyes One. They are the best 4th gen selling group. They win and break records left and right. They are so so successful. But this doesn't make them any better than groups who have accomplished less in terms of wins, sales and breaking records. Everyone in Eyes One is so talented. Has an interesting and funny personality. Plus the group has my favorite discography and some of my favorite choreos. But out there there are obviously other groups that are just as talented. Just as funny and that have great music but they are unfortunately more underrated and people don't know how great they are. Popularity doesn't mean you're more talented. But some whiz ones seem to think otherwise and they keep bragging about Eyes One's accomplishments. Eyes One isn't better than any other group out there. And at the same time, no group is better than Eyes One. That's the end of the video. If you got offended by what I said it's probably because you're one of the toxic stands. I might do a part 2 talking about more fandoms in the future but I don't know. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. Bye.